Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Obviously we're in lockdown, I'm in the bushcraft shed, I ain't going to stay in here because it, the weather is so nice at the moment. Uh, so the rest of this video I'm going to re record outside. Um, so this video really is um, all about adapting uh, an army kit bag uh, to my purposes. I've had this kit bag for quite a few years and never really done anything with it. Um, there is inherent problems with having kit bags and I'll show you that in, in, in a short while. Um, but I'm going to modify it. Uh, I've thought about my system, what I use. Um, most of you will know that I use the French Army Alpine Brigade rucksack. Um, so I've kind of exploded everything and looked at individual bits of kit. And I'm, what I'm trying to do basically is distribute the weight a little bit more over my body uh, rather than just one area of my body, which is my back. Um, obviously I need the kit bag to hold my... Uh, my sleeping bag, my roll mat, any ground mats I'm using, maybe the frying pan and food. That's all that should be in there really. Apart from maybe one of the uh, the axes, most probably that one, that's a new axe, I'll do a video about that um, in the future. Uh, and maybe a knife and a saw. So yeah, uh, I'm going to bring you along for the journey and how I modify my rucksack. First of all, let's have a look at um, why I don't like the kit bag the way they're designed. Right, so uh, that's a bit better. I feel a bit more like I'm the outdoors now. So obviously I've got a belt system on. I'll go into this system a little bit more in detail a bit later in the video. So uh, I've distributed quite a lot of uh, the stuff that I use around my, around my waist. Now, the problem with um, these kit bags, I'll just demonstrate that now. You get one, one kind of... Uh, shoulder strap for it, you get a grab handle but as you can see you know it's no use to man an ornament especially if you're like me you don't drive and you've got to walk everywhere that you go so uh, this for me should be more in kind of that position so what I'm going to do is modify it I'm going to reuse as much as I can of this kind of webbing the grab handle I want to keep on um, and I've got another handle, uh, another kind of strap off another army bag that I'm going to repurpose for this uh, for this little project. But in there, I've got uh, my sleeping bag, my roll mat, two ground sheets, uh, which is the DD uh, the DD um, magic carpet one, and I've also got the canvas one. And also in there is the tarp with pegs and all that kind of thing. So pretty much the only other thing that I need in here really is maybe an axe and a saw and a knife like I've already described and food in a frying pan. So it doesn't need to be this big, this bag. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is chopping it down uh, so far, bending it over, putting some kind of cordage through, um, through kind of a sewn part around it so I can actually cinch it up and do something with this strap because this strap is uh, no use to man of ornament.
Right, so I'll just talk you through uh, what I've done on the bag so far. It's pretty much finished now. Um, so on the bottom of the bag here, I've used the original webbing strap and put my own link on there for a more adjustable strap which I've used off a, another army bag. And the same here, uh, I've cut it off short. I've cut it off short, fed it through the actual uh, loop system and then sewn it back up. Obviously I've still got the grab handle on there. And on the top all I've done is bent it over and then put some, uh, put some cordage around the top so it can be cinched up. Obviously this is a canvas bag. Um, until I get some like uh, sear wax or something like that that I can treat it with to make it waterproof. Uh, and even then I'll still use this dry bag. So I've got a dry bag inside. This is a 70 litre um, dry bag, which is, I've actually had to repair this in the past as well. Um, yeah, so it's just one big kit bag really. And uh, it distributes the weight a little bit better. Um, a little bit better on me on my back than my rucksack. Uh, I just thought I'd give it a go. Now I'm gonna use this in conjunction with a belt kit and that'll be on the next video. I'll decide to do that uh, on another video. So yeah, let's...